Hello and welcome to another episode of Our Crazy Life. Ah, you forget where you're at? I was going to say Crazy Ink TV, but it is uh, Crazy Ink TV. It is Crazy Ink, but it's Our, our crazy, crazy Life. And today we thought we'd talk about our grandkids have been sick. So yes. we talk about different things about, you know, they're sick, how do you handle it, how, different things, different things that they are using to clean their noses yes. out with. Oh my gosh. So this morning. No, wait, wait. Right. Okay. Well, let's just warn you guys ahead of time. This could be, this could be gross. Maybe, not, maybe that's what they all use now. We're old. Okay, that's true. Okay, so our granddaughter came over this morning, and our, well, she didn't come over by herself. She drove herself over. She's She's seven months old. She gets in her car. (laughs) Anyway, her uh, mom brought her in the morning, and she goes, oh, I need to clean her nose out. I'm thinking, oh, she's going to get some Kleenex. Right, wipe her nose, get some Kleenex. You know, the old old fashioned way. Or the little blue thing. The blue thing where you suck it out. Yeah. I don't think it does that. I don't think it does that. But no, she's, so I'm watching her, and she, oh. Well, if you're eating, put it down. Yeah, put it down. So she takes this out, and there's like a tube. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe there's a thing you push at the end. Yeah. And she puts it in her nose. No, she's sli- she she's puts sli- it in her mouth. She's siphoning the snot. Siphoning it out. I'm eating, because I'm, I'm, I got up at 6.30 to go to work at 8. I'm eating my cereal. Well, that was the end of my cereal. How about you? I wasn't eating. I, oh, okay. I just went. I was like. I was like. And she goes, do you want me to show you how to do this? No! Like, well, Sorry. I don't use it. Yeah, but I said. And she goes, you want me? I go, no, because I'm not doing no, that. No, we're not doing it. I go, no, she'll no. just have snot in her she'll nose. She'll have snot. We'll use Kleenex. Because on Thursday, I had both Alex and Ava. Yes. And and, and Alex had the snot bubbles. And, you know, it's funny. I can change poop. Yes. You know, change, he Because he had... I almost wanted to save the diaper and said, okay, what are you feeding this kid? Because it was it was poop from hell. <laughs> it was... I mean, I think anyone who's changed a diaper, sometimes you get that diaper, you go... What did he eat? And it, it right. was bad. But, I, but he had this. I had one when I came home from work because I changed him because he woke up from a nap. I had a, you. I mean, you walked in the room like, whoa, Alex. Yeah, he's, well, he's like his dad. His dad had good poops. His dad was a good pooper. Yeah. But uh, anyway, not get too gross. But he, he, but he had the runny green nose, and I, I'd, I'd much rather change the poopy diaper. Than I'm the, with you. Than the green. I'm I, with you. But you know, I, I do what I can. I wipe their nose, and they, they scream. They get mad. Right. Like, ah. Right. So, but she didn't scream when she put the no the tube up her nose. It's gross. I'm just so like, I guess the question is: Is this something that a lot of people do now? Well, like, it, if you're out there, or if you're if you're a grandparent watching us, and your kid came and said, "Yeah, I want you to use the tube thing, suck the snot out of their nose," would you do it? Because I'm not doing it's it. It's like siphoning, siphoning right? gas. Yeah, yeah, like you would do that. I'll siphon she the gas. She says there's a filter that stops it. But then she was telling us the story how her husband Steve he forgot. got to put the filter in. I had to, we had to stop her, didn't we? We were like, yeah, no, 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 I'm not gagging. Not I'm gagging. Gag. I'm a, but I'm getting a little. Ugh. Okay. Well. Anyway. But I. But anyway, it was. It was. It was. You know. So but I guess the question is, I, I started to say, is would you if your if your kids came and said, hey, uh, mom, dad, we want you. This is how we want you to clean Junior's nose out, or right. Uh, and you're like, would you would you do it? Or he's like, I say, no, we're not doing it. We're not, I'm not, I'll, I'll do the little suction. Oh thing. yeah, the, I'll do the little. Well, what's that little ball? Yeah, little, little blue ball. ball that was, little, yeah, you know, that, we, we, in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not doing. I'm not. Not doing. I'm, no, not, I'm no. not sucking snot mm-hmm. out of someone's no. nose. I'm mm-hmm. not. I'm not doing it. No, ain't gonna do it. No. Just drop my pin. But anyway. No, I couldn't do that. But let us know what like what you guys do. Do you use that? You know. We just overreact. Are we overreacting? <laughs> are we just being? Is because we're older? And it's like. <laughs> I wonder what. Think about but it. But it was effective. But you know, do you remember? I can't. Do and I don't remember. remember? Um, but do you remember if, like, when we brought? I don't even think we. I don't know. We'd, we'd have to ask your mom because no one else is around to ask. But or your sisters. But when they went to their house, and they were sick. Did we bring that little ball and ask them to clean their nose out? I what think, did they I, do before that? Did that I, was I that think, always around? I think we did bring the ball. With us. But but they had well, I don't know. But I wonder what was before that, like Q-tips or something like that. A plunger. But on face, and the snot comes out. But no, it just it's just one of those things. But you had you had to take you went with our daughter to, to the doctor. To the doctor. Well, she called me up, and uh, uh, what day was that? Gosh, oh, I, I went to work late Tuesday because I did orientation, so I went to work at 
one ish, whatever it was. So she, she I got to sleep in. You got to sleep in. I know you were excited. So she was going back, right? Oh, mom, take her to the doctor's. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, going back and forth with that. And so, um, and she was sick, poor baby. Anyway, she, yeah, was, she sick. was sick. Yeah. So she's like, and I try to remember boundaries. I try to remember my boundaries. I'm a strong woman. I can over, I could take things over. So I try to remember my boundaries. Anyway, long story short, she says, she comes to me and she texts me back. She goes, Hey, mom, do you mind showing up and, and meeting me there? And I had to stop for a second because it was it was nice to not have to rush to go to work. Right. Um, it was like 8.30 in the morning. The point was 11.30, so it wasn't like a crack of dawn. And I was like, huh, huh what do I have to do? do I, am I going to go? Do I want to go? I go, no, I'm her mother. She's asked me. She needs my help. But for a split second... I almost wanted to say... Now, wouldn't you, if, if she didn't ask you, and you're saying, you never asked me to go to the doctor. No, I wouldn't be upset. <laughs> <laughs> because she asked me to go. When, I, I had to go one time because her husband was working. Only reason I went because she wanted me to hold Ava down so she could get her shots. Right. And I go, that's just not right. And then I went with the next one. Well, we both went to the next one because the same thing, she wants us to do that. She can't do it because she'll cry. But I was trying to think about it because my mom didn't, like, I didn't really ask him. I asked my mom more medical stuff. But my she mom, was a nurse. But she, she was a nurse, you know. She used to say, I'm a nurse, you know. And so I would sometimes, I would bug her all the time about medical stuff. And so my mom and she I could, had... She could have been a doctor. She could have been a doctor. She was smart. Anyway, um, but my mom and I had a... Not, fun, that, not that nurses aren't... Right. Nurses are the backbone of the hospital. But right. But she, she, she could have I would call her up, tell her the, like what was going on. She would tell me what was wrong with, the, with them, what kind of medicine that they were going to give her. And then I would always try to see if she was telling me stories. I thought she was just trying to be all that and a cup of tea. So I would get there, and son of a gun, sure enough, she was absolutely right. It was probably the only thing I really, truly listened to her. Yes, you did. Yeah. She was kind of wacky sometimes. But there, but, but <laughs> we had a weird relationship. We weren't like the best mom and daughter relationship. You know, I hope my daughters feel, I think I have a good relationship with my daughters. I hope they feel the same way. But my mom and I had our moments together, you know. And I realized now she wanted me to be one way, I wanted to be another way, and that's why we clashed. But as a grandmother. Clash of the Titans. Yes. Yeah, but as a grandmother, she was awesome. Because I remember one time I was like, in the shows, I remember calling her up and saying, kind of getting upset something was wrong with me. And her response was, what do you want me to do? I'm 2,500 miles away. So when my daughter first asked me to come with her, I was like, okay, if I say no, I'm going to be what I never wanted to be like, you know, because I think all of us don't want to be like some negatives about our mothers. We don't want to be like that. So I was like, I can't be that. So because my mom always came with me when it came with the kids sick. They, she came to, you know, all the doctor's appointments. You know, if she felt like the doctor, the one time we took Heather to the emergency room and she really felt like the doctor well, Heather we, was... Well, we brought her back home. Well, and they, well, they said, you know, no, you take her back. Yeah. That's, that's an intern. You go in yeah, there yeah. and you demand. Yeah. And she was right. And this goes, and I'm going with you. Pick me up. I'll wait for you outside. So we went and picked her up and went back to the emergency room. And, and sure enough, there was something wrong. Because she knew the medical terms. Yes. And he's just like going... Because I think sometimes, I don't think they mean to be that way, but I think sometimes pediatricians or inter- or whatever, I think, I think they're over- first-time parents, they kind of just, just disregard you and thinking, oh, you're just overreacting. But I really like where Heather's taking Ava. I, um, they're nurse practitioners. Uh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doctors, but they just, I really like their approach. And I nurse like, practitioners saved my life. Yes, that's true. I love how they um, come in. It was two different ones. They, and I just really like their, one was a physician's assistant and a nurse practitioner. I don't know if there's, if there's difference in that, I guess there is. But I really like how they approach things and how they did things. And, and I'm really impressed well, with was, where she's I, taken. When I went with the shot, she spent a lot of time. It wasn't like, I, I got 10 more patients I right. got to get out of here. I right. Mean, it was, it was, it was, they took time with you. Yes. And uh, you, you know. and, but I always loved our pediatrician. I don't, never liked the part where the, I never thought he was aggressive in some areas, but he was wonderful with advice. Like I would go in and he would say, okay, this is what's going on. This is what you need to do. And he just was really great. And I never felt like he didn't pay attention to me. But anyway, anyway, but that's the reason why a lot of times I talk to my mom because she would be like, you're, you know, you have to be your advocate. You're your own advocate. You have to speak up. You know, they're not God. Doctors went to school. They don't know everything, you know, so speak up, ask questions, just, just, you know, be respectful, but don't just assume because they're doctors that they know more than you, because sometimes they, it's not that they don't know, but you know, that's, it's a guessing game for them too. Right. So she said, always be your own advocate. So I miss not having her because even now when my kids call me and they'll, like Heather asked me something this weekend. I was just like, you know, I want to make sure I'm giving the right advice. And what I would have done is pick up the phone and say, hey, mom, this is what I'm telling Heather. What do you think? You know, um, but anyway, but uh, so I went to the doctors. I decided I would go with her and I would not be a bad grandmother slash mother and be supportive of my kids. I just said, you're, you're not going to go? You did say that you were you're sleeping the whole time. Well, you're not going to go? I'd go. You're, you were sleeping. It's my chance to sleep. Let me, let, me, let me do Jack. Shh. 
I'd go, I'd go in a heartbeat. You need me there? I'm there. <laughs> you were, you didn't even, I had to, I had to wake you up. To I'm tell there. You, I had to wake you up to tell you what I was doing. Yeah, it didn't make sense. And it didn't make sense, and you had to text me no, later. You didn't make sense, but whatever. Anyway, that's that's uh, like. So the, I'm just, you know, curious of what people do. Do they call? You know, do your moms go with you? Do you, you know, reach out to your moms and ask questions? Um, I always think anybody that's been a, a parent, um, you know, or before, I don't know if that's the right word I'm saying before. If you've been a, it, no, if you are a parent and your kids are now grown, you know, do you, I think you're a good resource. I say, you yeah, know, well, you bet you've lived through it. And yeah, you, you know, so, you've made mistakes and you can say, okay, these are the mistakes we made. Right. These are the things we think we did right. But of course, you know, the problem is, I think we talked about it earlier in one of the earlier ones. You know, it's been 25 years. Everything 28 changed. 28 years. Almost. Well, I'm just saying 20. It, it's yeah, tw- over 25 years, yeah. Because it used to be you put the kid, you would put your child on their stomach to sleep. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, now they've changed it to where it's... Well, no. I think when Heather and Caleb were, we did the sides. They were on their the sides. Side, yeah, now used, it's on their back. It used to be stomach, side, now it's back. So everything changes. So you, ha- you have to kind of go with what... You can't be stubborn either and say, right. no, no, in my day, we right. did it this way. Well, right. no, th- this is no. the way they want it done, so we'll do it that way. Do you remember? But I'm not doing the siphon. No, but do you, do you remember? I remember my, my mother told me that when I was teething, they would put rumming, little rum on my, or whiskey on my gums. Did yeah. they ever do that for you? Whiskey? Or rum on your teething? Or, they, just, your they just opened up a funnel <laughs> and just right poured it I in knew like you were going to say that. Drink, drink, I kids. knew you were going to say they that. You're put, so they, they, predictable. They just put a thing of uh, Jack but, Daniels in my, they he, just put a, uh, uh, a nipple on my Jack Dan, the bottle. Like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> but I have to say, I, I have to give a shout out to my husband. And I'm, wah, like, I'm, not, I'm not just saying, wah, stop it. Wah, 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 stop it. Can I give you a shout out? Yeah, shout out. He's a good guy. He's He babysits his granddaughter and his grandson. He babysits his granddaughter. It's actually, I, I, I wouldn't want, I think I said this before, I wouldn't want to do it every day, but they work. And I posted a picture of Alex. He was. I was, after I changed his caca diaper, which was terrible, I had already put Ava in bed. And I said, okay, I'm going to change your diaper. I got to wash my hands, sit down here for a second. He goes over and, because Ava's in a swing, he goes over and lays, he has a paper towel. I don't know where he gets paper towel from. He uses that as a pillow and he's laying down. Oh. I'll, I'll post it. I, I post it on our Instagram. If you, if you follow us on Crazy Hank TV and Instagram, I post the picture on there. Aww. And he just laid there. I go, well, I guess you want to take a nap, huh, Alex? Aww. So I took him upstairs. He's he, a sweet little boy, just like Zachary. And he laid, he laid down, went to sleep, and that was it. But it was, uh, they work, they play well together. They, right. She likes to follow him and try to do this different stuff, right. trying to keep up with him. They're six months apart. So it actually gives me a little break because I believe they. I'm one of those people that say, okay, you got to entertain yourself. Yeah, you are. I don't want to. I don't have to sit there and entertain you nine, ten hours a day. I mean, I'm not going to ignore them. No, of course you know, not. But okay, here's your twenty minutes. You're gonna you're gonna sit down. You're gonna do that. But yeah, that's just me. No, and I agree with that I think you know that was one thing about our kids. They could really self entertain really well. Jay especially. Heather, it was difficult. I used to she you know I tell her this all the time because I think her daughter's going to be like her. I used to make her sit when she was like three years old. I would let her, she had to sit down and I would time her, two or three. I'd put a timer on and make her try to sit for a minute because she never wanted to sit. And I was concerned that when she went to school, she would be hyper and never want to sit still. So I would always work with her. And it was, it was torture for that kid. The youngest one, she could sit there for Oh my gosh. She was like Jay. Jay and her, their personalities are so much alike. It's, it's hilarious. They could entertain and, and not that Heather could entertain herself. No, she would do it. Yeah, she, she would do that. But she, she did her entertainment outside. Yeah, she liked Where Kayla really... and Jay had their imaginations. You know, Jay could take a toy and sit in his chair for two hours and entertain himself with that toy and right. come up with things. And Kayla could do, you know, different things with her mind and writing and stuff like that. Well, so. once I finished my Jack Daniels, I could entertain myself too. It's like, I'm going to entertain myself. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Anyway. I got in trouble once for drinking the Jack Daniels and getting on my trike. Got pulled over. <laughs> Pull over! I'm not drunk. I'm only one. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I just want to give a shout out to my wonderful husband. I know he was he didn't sign up. We were going to do this together. So I appreciate you. You're a good, oh, so you're a good it, papa. It was really supposed to be two to three days a week. I know. I wait five. <laughs> but she's a good kid. You and, are. And she's fun. And yeah, some days I come back, I come home and you look exhausted. Your poor back is killing you and yeah. it's been a long day. So Sometimes Not I, her. She's not giving you a long day. She likes to be picked up. Yeah, and, like and it's hard on your, on your back. Like, okay, yeah, all right. But I, I mean, you could just see that she adores you. Maybe though. I should go back to the Jack Daniels. No, but you could see she, when she's, you know, when you're talking, she just turns like, I'm holding, she's looking at you like, there's my papa. That's my guy. <laughs> yes, we feel sorry for her. She has so far, we'll, we'll figure this out, but we have two two cousins that are boys. She has a dad that's uh, a boy. Well, obviously, you Uncles, I don't think she's ever dating. No, not. But anyway, that's what we got. Uh, let us know in the comments. Maybe use the snot thing. And we'll be back on Monday for our update on our 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 getting in shape thing. So yes. if if you haven't put how much weight you've lost or how much you better and how much exercise you've done, 
Let us know. That's all we got. Bye, you guys. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.